check out a book. Now that we have read the book from the database and we have added our very own book, let's go ahead and update this book. So imagine that if a student comes and asks for a particular book, now we can go ahead and get that book, but we need to also update the status of the book that it is no longer available. Remember the checkout query which we used earlier? Yes, that is what tells you if the book is available or not. Earlier it was false, meaning that the book is available. But as soon as someone takes the book, we need to update the value to true. So let's go ahead and execute that. Now in the academy, if you scroll down, you can see that the URL is like this because we need to provide you know, an ID as a path parameter. So let's go ahead and execute that in Postman. Now in Postman, we need to add this request below add book request. So let's go ahead, click on these three dots and add request. Name it checkout book. Make sure to select the method as patch. Remember we learned about methods earlier, so you should not have a hard time of understanding why. Now, if you go here in the suggestion, we can see this URL which we used earlier with the path param. Now, here we need to add which book exactly we are updating, right? So, we are going to find that book by get book by ID, obviously. So, let's go ahead and use that variable ID. Now that the variable is set, make sure we need to add a body because what exactly are we updating? So, let's go ahead and click on body, click on raw. And here we need to add the JSON of checked out and the updated value, which is true. Where will you find that? Documentation or the academy. So let's go to the academy. And if you scroll down a little bit, you will actually find that JSON right here. So let's copy that and let's go here and paste it in the body. Make sure to save this request and then send this. As soon as you send, you will receive 200 OK which basically means this request was successfully executed and the value got updated on the server. Awesome.